I started barrel racing because I seen all the pretty girls doing it and I thought that was awesome on the fast horses and like every little girl I was obsessed with horses so I always knew that was what I wanted to do. Uh, I practice with my more seasoned horses. I practice two or three times a week. I should practice more than that but with a ranch I usually don't have that much time but usually with a younger horse, they need very much so. They need consistent time in the saddle every single day. Uh, with my younger horses, I'll take and set three barrels up in a row or side by side, three on one side and three on the other side. And I'll take them through that. And there's a lot of different exercises you can do for your horses, but some of my favorites are the ones that I pretty much stick with. And just teach them how to shape their body and set up for the turns and teach them how to get comfortable. And that's usually how I do the barrel part training, but sometimes you'll take them, you can take them to the roping pen or ride them through the pasture, just anything, so they'll be a very well-rounded horse. Uh, the rules of barrel racing is um, you run as fast as you can through a clover leaf pattern. You can run to the right or the left first. If you hit one, you either get a penalty of plus five or no time. You can touch one, you can pick it back up with your hands, you can wiggle it, you can do whatever to it. As long as you don't knock it over, you're good. My favorite part of barrel racing is the adrenaline rush and as well the satisfaction you get back from working together as a team. Some of the barrel racing slang, sometimes we call the barrels cans or tubs, so if somebody just ear hustling heard us, they wouldn't know what we was talking about. Um, the equipment I use on my horse, I ride a Circle Y saddle, and then I ride another saddle. It's not really a brand name, it's a trophy saddle. It's a queen saddle. Um, uh, they're very important. You want to make sure your stirrups are hung forward and it fits you properly, because otherwise, They'll throw your feet back and throw you right out of the saddle and right in the dirt. Um, you want to make sure your bit is right for your horse because that's a very important part. That's If you had a piece of metal in your mouth that didn't feel good, you wouldn't like it. And that really helps them to listen to you and respond to you. Usually when you raise horses, you just choose by when you start them up as two or three year olds. You see what potential they have. And you can kind of tell which one has the personality and the desire and the want to to work for you. And other ways, you just buy your horses and you really look for their disposition and their confirmation and everything to see who will make a winner for you. On competition day, when I warm up, usually with my more seasoned horses, I just take them around back to the warm-up pen or to some quiet place where we can be by ourselves and think about what we're doing about 20 minutes beforehand. And We'll just go ride and lope circles and do things to get our head in the game and thinking because the more time that I spend warming up is more time that them and I have to get nervous. Thank you.